Welcome back you guys. Today I'm going to show you why this Lexus GX470 is one of the best all-around rig for you or me or anybody. Just check it out. Let's go. So what makes a Lexus GX470 so good? Basically, it's a great all-around vehicle. You can tow with it, you can take it off-roading, you can go camping with it, you can go out on a dates with it, you can take it cross-country, you can do just about everything you want to do with the Lexus GX470. So what makes it capable with off-roading? The Toyota A-Track or Lexus A-Track uh, all-wheel drive system is, is pretty good. It can get you through a lot of terrain. In this particular rig, I outfitted the rig with ARB air lockers front and rear so that all four wheels are driving, whether it be up in the air or you're never losing that that traction or that uh, the drive. The Lexus GX470 has a towing capability of 6,500 pounds, which is just enough to tow your regular car. I towed my Toyota MR2 from Arizona all the way down to California. No issues at all. It, it drove like it's not even back there. Now the Lexus does come with a V8. It's powered by a 2UZ FE 4.7 liter V8. So it's a smaller V8 but it has just enough power. It has about 263 horsepower as well as 323 foot-pounds of torque. So just enough power to do what you need to do. It's not overpowered and it's not underpowered. Now, the bad thing about it, it is a V8, so it does suck up gas. Let's just not talk about gas mileage. Talk about miles per gallon. Yeah. Uh, what else? Being that it's a Lexus, it has all the bells and whistles. You get the luxury item, you get the leather seats, you got heated seats, you know, cruise control, all the regular stuff. Now the Lexus GX470 chassis is the same as a 4Runner. So what that means is you can use a lot of the 4Runner parts and put it in your Lexus. The parts are interchangeable as well as the FJ Cruiser. Some parts you can use as well. Let's talk about camping. This thing is great for camping. Whether you want to set up outside or if you want to sleep, sleep in the rig, you can do that. I actually put a queen size mattress, uh, air mattress, in the back and it fits. I was able to sleep comfortably. There's plenty of room. There's plenty of room in the back to put all your gear. Now let's talk about price point. The Lexus GX470 is actually cheaper than most 4Runners, which is great because it's basically a 4Runner with all the bells and whistles. So that's that. Now if you're looking for a capable rig, to go off-roading, camping, do just about everything you want, you should really consider a Lexus GX470. So that's gonna do it. You should get one. All right, let's do a quick walk around of this thing. Apologize if there's a lot of noise due to the road, but we'll, we'll do our best. All right, we're gonna start in the front and we'll just go in a circle. Obviously, this thing is pretty obvious and the size of the wheels and the look of it it's pretty big uh, at least for this vehicle uh, this is the Falcon T8 Seekers it's wrapped in BF Goodrich KM3 mud terrain tires these are awesome tires even in a wet or muddy situation they grip pretty well um, let's see what else uh, from over here we can see the SPC upper control arm as well as the IVAC springs 
with the Bilstein 6112 shocks and some, uh, I forgot the brand of that pump stop, but it works pretty well. Uh, as you'll see in this, in this walk around, suspension is, it's pretty um, mixed up with different brands, but it works. It's pretty basic, but it, it gets the job done. We'll go back over here. As you can see the Bilstein 6112. These are awesome shocks as well. We have some Baja lights. There is a body mount chop as well as the, the seams are hammered back for the clearance for this big 35s in this Lexus. I got rid of the, the fender liners. All right, from the front, you guys, you see, this is the Explore Overland front bumper along with the Explore Overland sliders. Actually, <laughs> quick story on the Explore Overland is they scam a bunch of people and a lot of people didn't get their bumpers or sliders. I was actually one of the lucky ones, probably one of the last ones that actually got theirs. So I'm actually grateful that I got mine. But unfortunately, there's other people that didn't get theirs. Uh, it sucks but uh, it looks pretty good um, it, it's kind of it's sad that it didn't work out but that's the bumper we'll zoom in here i am using zeke 13,000 pound winch uh, it's just your amazon brand you, you'll see in this build nothing's too crazy uh, a lot of the stuff you can get from amazon and what i'll do is actually i'll link everything in the description for all the all the things that I've used that I, that came from Amazon here, um, disclaimer: I do get a little bit of commission if you guys do get it uh, from my link. Uh, but if you can get it from my link, that would be awesome. It, it'll help me out, and I do appreciate that. This winch works pretty well. Never had any issues with it. Actually, take that back. I did have one issue. One of one of the uh, ground wires, like a little wire, just kind of came off. But other than that, everything else works pretty well. Pretty easy fix. You just screw it back in but this thing works pretty well i've used it a couple times on people to help them uh, get out of situations let's see i do have a front camera so i have it pointed down because when you go on obstacles guys when you, when when your front ends all the way up you don't see anything but the sky this helps locate the the, the what's in front of you so you just don't drive off in a cliff uh again i got some more Amazon lights here. Uh, this one, I've had this for a while. I don't remember what, what this is, but another Amazon light. It, it works pretty well and it's super cheap. I, I get Baja lights are, are brighter or whatever, but I've taken this on night runs and I can see just fine. It's bright enough to see whatever you need to see. Uh, the only downside of it, like I don't know if it's the same thing with Baja, but the, the mounting brackets they do rust, so I mean, you, I guess I could have painted it, but I just kind of left it. Don't really care much about it. It is so cheap, so I can always just get new ones. But this works pretty well. Got some more lights on the sides, and then we have uh, I forgot the brand, but I'll I'll link it again. But that that thing's pretty bright too. Uh, actually, for it's way more than enough bright for what it needs to be. The LED light bar. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so again, we have another Amazon snorkel. It works great, never had any issues with it. Fits pretty pretty good. Uh, installing it, it's a little, you know, you gotta take your time. Make sure you measure it right and, and read the forums or, or the message boards and, and they can give you all kinds of tips on how to install it. Um, this thing is functional. I have everything hooked up. If you can see from down here. But all of that is hooked up and sealed so I can go on some pretty deep waters. All right, let's continue our walk around. Um, we, like I said, this is the Explore Overland sliders. Right down here, we have the APOC Industries trailing arms. Now I got this, these things are beefy. The stock ones that I had bent when I went to um, the Rubicon but so ever since I put this on the car's been more stable it's it's solid and it's pretty cheap um, I forgot the, <laughs> I 
I'll put the name, but I think it's M Keith. Um, so I got some bracing over here that I welded on because you do hit down here. Oh, the roof rack, it's from JW. It's all aluminum, so it's, it's, a, it's a lighter roof rack. Uh, works pretty good, it's solid, it's strong. Never had any issues with it. Uh, the case is from Harbor Freight and it's just your typical gun case which I repurposed for storing my recovery recovery gear and tools. Now here in the back, this is my very own creation of a swing arm tire carrier. And I'll show you guys how it all works. It's actually pretty trick. So what I wanted to do is, I you know, obviously when you have a, a Forerunner or a Lexus, you gotta have the ladder, man. It's the rite of passage. <laughs> it, it, it's, I know it's a meme, but it looks cool. I like it. Not gonna lie. So this ladder is from Nash Fab. And what I wanted to do when I built this, this, uh, this tire carrier is I want to be able to keep the ladder because like I said it looks pretty cool. I like it. So what I did is, so I built I built this thing. I put a notch here so so that the ladder can stay on um you'll see here when i open this in a little bit but this is a uh you know, pretty cool um mechanism that i that i came up with and what it does is you know instead of just opening it one by one all you have to do is open it and the tire carrier will swing out with the door uh, here let me show you real quick it's a little hard to do with one hand but so you unlock this right and then you just pull and you'll see this whole thing swings out and it locks so that's that and then to close it it's, uh, it's pretty basic you just lift this up and then you push the the, the tire carrier and then it'll close all in one piece just close it lock it up and you're good um i do have a rear view camera and oh this thing uh so this is not a tow hitch so because this won't hold but i put this on for bicycles so i can i can still carry a bicycle with a bike rack and as well as keep my tow hitch this is a metal tech tow hitch so it's more uh high profile Gives you more clearance. I got rid of the stock ones. And like I said, the bumper I made all by myself. It's all reinforced. As you can see down here, it's all reinforced, solid. It doesn't go anywhere. I've had it for a while, no issues at all. And I would do it again. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's talk about the back. All right. In the back end, we got another of the M, -key M -key I don't even know how to say it, but. Uh, it's a pan hard, pan hard bar uh, what it does is basically levels it so you have a um, better suspension ge geometry on the back my shocks are Dobinson's long travel so this thing flexes like there's no tomorrow um, the, sh the springs are from Apache Apache off-road like I said this the whole suspension is a, it's, it's a mix and match but it works well it's basic but it works well and uh no no complaints there the bump stops are from metal tech and as you can see here what i did is um uh, this the gx470 comes with a i would say a resonator uh because the muffler is right over there so what i did is i mean it doesn't redo really anything i just chopped it off creates more clearance it doesn't sound any difference it's not louder and you, you just get more clearance all right it is kind of hard to see during the day, but this thing does have rock lights, uh, which is mounted underneath. Let's, uh, let's let's see the inside. All right, the inside is pretty basic. So the like, the, the good thing with the Lexus GX470 is it's basically a 
Forerunner was with bells and whistles, so it does come with a leather seat and all the luxury amenities. Um, don't mind my seats; I do need to replace the the cover. Uh, but you know, you get the leather and wood grain. We got the aux beam switch panel for the 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 side uh, lights, the light bar, rock lights. I do have air lockers on this thing. Uh, it's it's equipped with ARB front and rear air lockers. So I have an onboard compressor. This is my switch for the front locker and my switch for the rear lockers. And for comps, I'm using the Midland. Uh, I forgot the model, but I got it on sale. Um, um, the head unit is TI's. I don't remember, it's been so long, but this works pretty well. I have some glitches here and there, but overall it works pretty well. Comes with all the the buttons here and got rid because the, the stock one doesn't have any backup cameras or anything so this is a it's a nice upgrade uh to modernize your your lexus gx470 uh the rest of it is pretty pretty basic nothing else in here all right the motor bone stock other than the snorkel uh doesn't really have anything uh, <laughs> I did relocate my windshield washer fluid to right up here and I did add an onboard air compressor that I custom mounted and everything's hidden underneath so everything looks bone stock which it is bone stock um, and it's dirty because I do take this thing off-roading all right here in the back don't mind the mess uh, I was transporting my engine for my 240z here um, this is where I keep all my my airlines random tools things I can't fit on the other stuff other uh, container um, that's that we got a drop down table here which got bent when I had the engine back here but it's okay it still works and you know you can put whatever you need in here does have a, a outlet for for your regular plugs so you guys are probably wondering what the hell this thing is well this is a a, a sticker that my uh, some of my jeep friends gave to me when we went to the rubicon trail um, you know if i mean if you have a jeep you would probably know that when you do a they call it a badge trail uh, if you do a, a complete a trail and you submit it on their website you they mail you a, a badge uh, saying that you complete the trail uh, and Jeep Jeep's the only one that does that as far as I know and um, what my friends did is they actually gave me this because I ended up like a towing one of my friends halfway through the trail I actually had to pull out a couple people as well to help them get over a trail and so that's why they gave me this which is pretty cool uh, I will wear it with pride <laughs> so it's on there Thank you guys. Go ahead. So, as you can see, I got rid of my sway bars, uh, front and rear sway bars. It it does help with travel, but it does kind of get sketchy when you're driving. Just keep that in mind. You get used to it, uh, so you'll know like what how much speed you can take on a turn. Uh, the only time it actually gets really sketchy is when a, a when you're driving at night, uh, and then there's like a, a blind turn that you just don't see in time, and you just gotta commit on a turn. So, uh, if you find this very informative, I will put the links for the parts that I use in the description. So if you, if any any of those items you are interested in please if you can go through my link because i do get like i said a, a little bit of commission for it it doesn't cost you anything extra but it does give me a little bit of something make sure you guys like subscribe and share the video uh there's nothing else to say but go out there hit the trail and have fun that's what i'm doing i will see you guys on the next video peace